In this video tutorial, we're going to show you how SEO Maximus works. The video will explain how credits work, the type of campaigns that are available, and will help members understand how the SEO Maximus SEO actually works. So we're going to go through, we're going to show you the navigation on multiple pages, talk to you about how the campaigns are set up. We'll walk you through that process very quickly. We'll talk about the credits. So all of the information will be right here for you so that you can fully understand how SEO Maximus can help you with your SEO services. Now the first thing I want to show you is how we work with credits. Now you'll notice up here on the right hand side where it says 1000 credits a day. I'm going to click on that drop down arrow and it's going to take me to where I can buy credits. So we'll go ahead and click on buy credits and it'll give us the number here and it's the number of daily credits to buy. You'll notice that I already had two entered in here but I want to point out that this is times 10 daily credits. So it works in multiples of 10. So whatever you select there, it's going to multiply that by 10. So if I would have just said that I wanted one credit, it would have given me the $10 charge. If I would go ahead and say that I wanted five, that's actually going to be 10 times 10. So you're talking 50 daily credits, which is going to be your $50 in US dollars. Now, once you have that amount in there, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click buy through P PayPal or buy via PayPal. So we're going to go ahead and click on that and they'll actually take us over to the PayPal purchase page. It'll show you the daily purchases. You can either create your PayPal account or say that you already have a PayPal account. You'll then go ahead and make sure that you set your country. So I can go ahead and say, uh, let's say that I'm in the United States. So I can go ahead and select that. It'll make the adjustments as far as the, the dollars and how it's going to display the, the currencies. And you just fill this information out on PayPal. So let's go ahead and go ahead back to the SEO Maximus site. There we go. So we're back to the Welcome to SEO Maximus site. And that's how you would purchase credits. Now, if you want to take a look at what you already have as far as active campaigns, I'm going to go ahead and click on the drop down arrow there. And I'm going to come over here to the active subscriptions. And I'll click on the subscriptions there. And it'll show me the subscription IDs and then the amount in US dollars. It'll show me the start time, if it was canceled, if there was a refund date. So it'll give me all of that information there regarding the active subscription. So whatever I've currently purchased, and then you'd be able to see those amounts. So I'm going to go ahead and go back here. And it'll take me back to the main control page. So let's go ahead and take a look at this a little bit closer. And what we have going on here, you'll see the campaign name and what is going on. You'll see how many credits a day are being used. You'll see a description that was created. And then you'll see what days those are running on. And then you could look at the schedule, the edit, or you could delete those. So before we take a look at those closer, let's actually take a look at what it would create or what it would take to create a campaign. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to campaigns. We're going to click on the drop down arrow and let's go to create new campaign. And the first thing that we need to do is give the campaign a name. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to say that this is my new campaign. So we'll get that filled in there. And then you're going to go ahead and put in a campaign description. So I'm going to say that this is a campaign to review functionality. And then you can choose what type of campaign that is going to be. So is this going to be uh, Web 2.0 properties where you're going to get 200 blog comments, 50 credits a day, um, or the Web 2.0 uh, with the 200 blog comments at 40 credits a day. I'm going to go ahead and choose B. And this is going to tell us that this is a daily submission to 10 high PR Web 2.0 profiles, Tier 1, with 200 blog comments, Tier 2, total links per month, 300 Web 2.0 profiles, 
plus 6,000 blog comments. Now, if I had changed that and chosen A, you would see the difference in that description there. So you can choose which one you want to do. And then you can go ahead and fill in the campaign niche. So you can fill that in. And I'm going to say uh, make money. And then you can go ahead and fill in the keywords. And I'm going to put in money. And then you go ahead and put in a URL of where you would want that to go to. And I'm just going to go to my site here. I can say that it's my moneysite.com. And then I can go ahead and put in my second keyword and plug in that address there, the URL. And go ahead and put online jobs here and fill that in as well so we're going to say that's my online job site.com so we'll go ahead and save that campaign and it tells us that our campaign has been added successfully and now what we can do is return to the home page we could re-edit the my new campaign or we could add a new campaign. So if I wanted to re-edit this, I could come back in here and I could change the campaign name and correct my spelling here if I needed to. I could change this back to there. So I could change the campaign niche. and you could adjust everything and then save it again. Now we could also return back to the home page. So I'm going to go ahead and return to the home page. We'll bring you back to the page here and I'm going to see the campaign name, the number of credits and the description. And then we'll see that all of the scheduling here is blank. But now you can see where these campaigns, the credits and the descriptions were coming from. Those are actually being generated when you actually create your new campaign. Now if you've come back to the home page and you wanted to edit your campaign what you would do is find your campaign come over and click on the edit button and it'll take you to the edit screen and now you, again you could make the changes as you saw fit whatever needed to be filled in here And once you had all of your changes made and modified, once again, you would save the campaign. And if I come back out to the home page, you'll see that you have the new campaign name, any other changes that you had made. Now, once this is all in here, the other thing that you might want to do is actually schedule this. So we're going to go ahead and click on schedule. And you can choose when you want these to run. So I'm going to say that I want these to run Tuesday and Thursday. So I'm going to go ahead and save my changes. And now you'll see that these are scheduled to run Tuesday and Thursday. Now if I wanted to change one that was already set up, so if I wanted to modify this one here, and I wanted to click on Schedule, and I'm going to have this one not run on Tuesday and Thursday, and I'll save my changes and now you'll notice that that one has been modified so that that is not running on Tuesday and Thursday so that is how the scheduling is going to work when you just click on the schedule button over here on the right for each of the campaigns that you're working on so also on the home page you'll notice with the listing of all the campaigns down on the bottom it is showing you the totals now, when I also am looking at this, notice that this is also only showing a certain number. So this is only showing 1 through 10. There are 8 other entries that are also being run. So if I go ahead and say that I want to show 25 total, this will show me all 18 now. And now those totals are going to make more sense. 
So if you're looking at the campaigns, the numbers don't seem to be adding up to where you would expect them to add up. Make sure that you are looking at all of the campaigns that are running and you'll see the number of what's running on any given day. So I'm running 740 on my slowest day, 800 on my highest day. So that's where you're looking at those runs. Now if I decide that campaign that I just created, I don't want to actually run. So I want to get rid of this campaign. I don't really need that. I'm going to go ahead and click on delete. It'll give me a warning. I will go ahead and say OK. And it will delete that campaign out. And now when you look at your campaign numbers, you'll see the new numbers are showing up there. Now if I want to modify this again, where I did the change of not running on Tuesday and Thursday, you can always go back to schedule, add those days back in, save your changes. It'll tell you that you've been successfully scheduled and the days. And now we have all the days scheduled again and we also see our totals have changed down below with 740 on most days but 790 on Thursday and Friday where we're actually running uh, an extra campaign here and this is for those weight loss sites. So we have the campaigns running they're all set up and scheduled but let's actually take a look at the submissions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here on the bottom and I'm going to click on view submission report and that'll bring up the submission report it'll show me the campaign IDs with the names the type it'll show us the latest submission date and the counts now it's only showing me 1 through 10 of 17 again so if I click on the drop down arrow and change that to 25 it now will show me the full list now I'm going to go ahead and take a look at one of these reports. So if I come over here to the right where it says view report, go ahead and click on view reports. And if you scroll down, you're going to see the report down here. You're going to see the submission date and time. And then you're going to see on the report what was submitted. And if I show more, it'll actually show me more in detail on what was submitted there. So now we see where all of these links are. Now if I want to take a look at one of these and find out where my link is on the page, we need to take a look at the campaign itself. So let's, let's walk through that whole process. So I'm going to come back here to my home page and I'm going to choose my online business campaign. So I'm going to go ahead and edit. And what you want to look at on here is we have the keywords and I have either online business or internet business. So I've got a couple that are rotating through and then it's going to link to this here which is the online business. I've got my keyword two and where that is listed and either my internet marketing or online marketing here. So it's going to be one of those. So either online business or internet business, business and then internet marketing or online marketing. So those are going to be the items that we're going to look at on our report. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the submission report. So once I know what my keywords or my anchor text are, I'm going to find that campaign. So once I have that campaign, I'll click on View Reports. And we'll see the report here. You'll see some profiles that are listed. If you click on the Show More again, it'll show you more of what was linked to. You'll see the blog comments that were linked to. And if I keep scrolling down here, We'll eventually get down to the bottom so I can see where all of those links were. So on the report then you can see the web 2.0 profiles that have been created. So all these are profiles that were created with those links. And then if I scroll down here to the blog comments, 
these are all the blogs that this has been posted on. So then we can click on one of the links here and it'll take us over to where that post was made and then we could go ahead and search for our keyword terms to then find that post on there and we would see where that then links back to our text. So I just need to go down through here and look for around the time frame that that was posted which was about three days ago and then I could look for those keyword terms in there and then we're at five days so right down around in here is three days so then I would look for where that was posted and then I would see where that was linked back to my site so that's how you could do the process you could also do a search for your searches so then you could see that in this case there's 48 matches on there so I could just go through those 48 matches if I thought it was tied to the business one I could go ahead and type in business and that would give me 61 matches and I would look for where which one of those 61 was mine so by doing this too you can see that these are fairly keyword rich links as well so where your keyword terms are being used you're just going to see that site having a lot of keywords on it increasing that authority so I'm gonna go ahead and close this and go back to the SEO Maximus site and let's go back to the home page a couple more links I want to show you on the main page here that you may be interested in the first is the my account page this is fairly basic if you click on the my account it's going to give you a section where you can adjust your password put in your old password and new and then repeat the new one and that'll reset your password for you so that's located under the my account page the other item that I wanted to point out is the contact us page so if you click on contact us it'll actually take you to the help desk tool that we're using and you'll see the knowledge base uh, troubleshooter you can register and submit a ticket so that is a tool that's being used to help you if you run into any items that you need contact with us for. So I'm going to go ahead and close that and that'll bring us back to the SEO Maximus page on the last page we were at. Once again I'll click on home and that'll take us to the home page. So that is SEO Maximus. That shows you the basics of each of the pages, how to navigate through how to go through the campaigns whether you're creating a new one or looking at a submission report take a look at the account and then we also took a look at the credits and how you could buy credits and also look at your active subscriptions we talked about the campaign list how you can work on the scheduling how you can edit and delete items and then also so you can see the number of credits that are being used each day.